Today I'm going to tell you the story behind the Pimba effect. Arasto Pimba was a secondary school student in 1963. He was 13 years old at the time in Tanzania. At that age, he triggered one of the most confusing and mysterious questions which still can't be fully answered today. So let's start at the beginning of the story. Pimba and his classmates were making ice cream in their class. Pimba mixed his boiled milk with sugar like everyone else did. He noticed there wasn't much space left in the fridge and he didn't want to lose what space was left. So he placed his mixture in the fridge instead of waiting for the milk to cool first before placing it in the fridge like all of his other classmates did. About an hour and a half later, when the class went to retrieve their ice cream mixtures, his was frozen like ice cream while the other students were a thick slurry mixture. And that baffled him and triggered a question that many people are still trying to answer today. Pimba was so confused by what happened that he asked his teacher why hot water freezes faster than cold water. His teacher said that was impossible. That can't happen. But this stayed on his mind for quite a long time. At some point in time in the future he went on vacation with his family in Tonga. He encountered an ice cream vendor there and he asked the person the same question. And the ice cream vendor replied that using hot water was common in ice cream making. So that intrigued Pimba even more. So, you know, he tried to test out his theory himself once using cold and hot water. What he did was he snuck into a school lab to do the experiment and he received the same results that he did when he was making his ice cream. Now moving on into the future when he was in college Pimba would pose the question a few more times to various science teachers and one actually repri replied to him that um, what he was describing is Pimba's physics not universal physics. After the teacher gave that reply his fellow classmates mocked him every time he had a question. But that didn't really deter him. Then one day a physics professor, Dr. Dennis Osborne, was visiting his university from the University of Dar es Salaam. Pimba posed this same question to him, but this time he changed the question slightly with the hopes of not getting laughed at or mocked and his question was, I'll quote, if you take two similar containers with equal volumes of water, one at 35 degrees Celsius and the other at 100 degrees Celsius and put them into a refrigerator, the one that started at 100 degrees Celsius freezes first. Why? Dr. Osborne didn't quite have an answer to that question, but he did promise to research his question once he re uh, got back to his lab at his university. But he was skeptical. Um, but he did keep his word to Pimba, and he performed an experiment. And he received the same results as Pimba, and this intrigued him so much so um, that they began working together to solve this mystery. So they began, began doing research together and they were able to reproduce the results multiple times. So they published a paper in 1969 in the journal titled Physics Education and the paper was titled Cool. The result became known as the Pimba effect. The Pimba effect is basically when hot water freezes before cold water. Now this phenomena was brought to the attention of modern science by Pimba and has resulted in scientists basically all over the world studying this phenomena and trying to reproduce it through experimentation. And let me tell you there are a lot of 
researchers studying this, I read so many different research papers trying to see if they actually solved the mystery to the point that I gave myself a headache reading so much. Um, some scientists have been successful in reproducing the results and some have not. Um, there, there are skeptics and there are those that say, you know, yes, it, it can happen sometimes. So basically, the Pemba effect has remained one of the biggest mysteries in science to this very day. But it has been noted in the past by um, other scientists, it has been noted all the way back to 350 BC by Aristotle in one of his writings. And he uh, said, I'll quote what Aristotle said, he said, um, the fact that the water has previously been warmed contributes to its freezing quickly for so it cools sooner hence many people when they want to cool water quickly begin by putting it in the sun Pemba could never have imagined at 13 years old in 1963 that simply by making ice cream in his class and being too impatient to wait for his milk to cool would lead to such a sci scientific conundrum that many scientists really still cannot explain to this very day. But they do acknowledge that hot water can, in certain conditions, cool faster, or freeze faster rather I should say, than cold water. Thank you everyone for watching today. Again, I hope you found this to be informative and interesting. And remember, as always, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon.